A car is traveling at a rate of 88 feet per second when the brakes are applied. The car begins decelerating at a constant rate of 15 feet per second squared. Number one, how many seconds elapse before the car stops? Number two, how far does the car travel during that time? For this problem, we'll let s of t equal the position function, v of t equal the velocity function, and a of t equal the acceleration function. Let's begin by listing out all the given information. In this situation, the initial position would be the zero position, meaning s of zero equals zero feet. Because the car is traveling at a rate of 88 feet per second, the initial velocity v of zero equals 88 feet per second. And because the car begins decelerating at a constant rate of 15 feet per second squared, the acceleration function a of t equals negative 15 feet per second squared. Notice the acceleration is negative because the car is decelerating, not accelerating. Number one, how many seconds elapse before the car stops? To answer this question, we need to determine when the velocity function is equal to zero. Before we do this, though, we need to recover the velocity function using the acceleration function. Recall the acceleration function equals the derivative of the velocity function, which indicates we can recover the velocity function by integrating the acceleration function. V of t equals the integral of a of t dt, which in our case gives us the integral of negative 15 dt, which equals negative 15 t plus c, where c is any constant, but we can determine the constant because we know the initial velocity v of zero equals 88. So if v of zero is equal to 88, meaning when t equals zero, the velocity must equal 88. We now know the constant c is equal to 88. So the particular velocity function is v of t equals negative 15 t plus 88. And now we can answer the question, how many seconds elapse before the car stops by setting v of t equal to zero? Again, the car stops when v of t, the velocity, is equal to zero which gives us the equation zero equals negative 15 t plus 88. To solve for t, we subtract 88 on both sides, divide both sides by negative 15, which gives us t equals negative 88 divided by negative 15, which is approximately 5.87 seconds. So to answer the question, the car stops after approximately 5.87 seconds. Number two, how far does a car travel during that time? To answer this question, we'll first need to recover the position function s of t, which we can do because the velocity function equals the derivative of the position function which indicates that s of t equals the integral of the velocity function dt, which equals the integral of negative 15 t plus 88 dt. Integrating with respect to t, we have negative 15 times t squared divided by two, or negative 15 halves t squared plus 88 t plus c. But again, we can determine the constant c because we know the initial position, s of zero equals zero. So if s of zero must equal zero, meaning when t is zero, s of t must be zero, the constant c must equal zero. Which indicates the position function s of t is equal to negative 15 halves t squared plus 88t. And now we can use the position function to determine how far the car travels during, during that time, which is during the 5.87 seconds, or the exact time would be 88 divided by 15 seconds. So for a more accurate distance, we'll determine s of 88 fifteenths, which equals negative 15 halves times the square of 88 fifteenths plus 
88 times 88 fifteenths, which I've already worked out is approximately 258.13 feet. So now we know the car travels 258.13 feet before stopping. I hope you found this helpful.